All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. Today is Labor Day. I don't know what you guys do for Labor Day, but I pretty much sat on my fourth point of contact the entire day. Uh, also looked at some videos and saw a bunch of cool stuff about the ATF. Now, last Friday, I think it was Friday. I can't remember if it was or not, but uh, my good friend John Crump uh, released a video talking about the, uh, the documents that were leaked out somehow from the ATF concerning an amnesty period. Now, what amnesty period for what, you may ask. I mean, I'm sure you've probably seen a couple other videos on this thing. Well, if you legally purchased an AR-15 pistol, say from Palmetto State Army or somebody like that, which I'm guessing they're still selling the damn things, uh, you legally purchased this thing, you went through a background check, if you, if you did, because it's, it's a pistol, okay? Uh, in most cases, in most states, you do have to go through a background check, get a pistol. You paid for the transfer fee, went to your dealer, and then uh, you took it home and you've got your own AR-15 pistol. Yay, I got my pistol. But what does oh, Uncle Sam do? Uh, Joe Biden, ATF, uh, yeah, Department of Justice. They decided to go ahead and tell you that the SB brace or, you know, your AR-15 brace, I'm not going to hold it up because, you know, we're not allowed to show anything anymore about guns on YouTube. But in any case... The, the idea was it was resembled an SBR, and they don't recognize that the uh, these braces are designed for people to be have a firearm that's more controllable for maybe those who have handicaps. There was all kinds of leaked information out there concerning that you were going to have to prove that you needed one. Uh, I have a good friend of mine, Jody, uh, who told me this was coming down the pipe a long time ago. He has some uh, pretty decent uh, people that he's uh, familiar with. So, in any case, now what they're going to do is they've said, all right, we're now going to turn these things. If you have an AR-15 pistol, we are considering those as SBRs. Regardless if they meet, regulate the point system that they had a while back, we went over that a long time ago. So, what, is, what does that mean for you? Well, you've legally purchased this thing, but to, in order to keep this AR-15 pistol, which the government now considers to be an SBR, you are going to have to register it as an SBR through the NFA program, uh, an e-form. Now, there's a couple things uh, that are as, that they're done through the, an amnesty period. You're going to have this period of time that you you can go ahead and uh, register it, and then also they're going to waive the $200 tax stamp, which is a good thing because guys, if there's some people out there, it would cost them several thousands of dollars if they had to register every single one of them. I do know that you can register one lower. So in any case, unless you get something that's specialty. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know if I said that out loud or not, but anyway, um, so now you've got this whole program where they're going to go ahead and give you an opportunity through the amnesty program to register your new SBR. And I guess, are you supposed to leave it at home? Uh, until you get approved through the process and they give you your tax stamp so that you can push it with each one of your firearms. Uh, I don't know. I know that uh, this is one of the reasons why my patience level is absolutely horrible and I really don't have the patience to go through the process. So as far as uh, suppressors are concerned, I really don't care about a suppressor. So I've never even went through the process. <laughs> Changing stuff up to an SBR, didn't care. Another thing is I don't really want the government knowing what the hell I've got in my home. I really don't. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's my right to have to privacy. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, yeah, so you got that going for you. The other issue is, with the being impatient is how long is it going to take them to go through the process? Instead of, let's just say this, instead of 87,000 IRS agents, you should probably just go ahead and put them behind a computer to help process the paperwork over at the ATF. Might not be a bad idea. But, you know, you've got an organization that doesn't have a problem showing up at your doorstep, asking what you got in the house, asking you, well, we noticed you bought two firearms yesterday. Uh, mind if we see them? Go, f you know, like, who does that and why? It's because it's being run by a bunch of leftist jackasses, period. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, is there a pro and con to this program? Okay. Uh, mine is, I don't want people knowing what the hell I have. It's none of their damn business. It's my right. It's my God given right under the second amendment to have these items. Uh, it's their agenda to remove those items from me and at the end game. And besides that, 
Who's to say that tomorrow, if they come up and ask you if you need to show me that you can't shoot more than 10 rounds in five seconds, or otherwise you're going to have to register your finger as a fully automatic weapon. So with that being said, guys, I always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as written by our founding fathers and don't play bullshit games. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and have it done so. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Boom.